I know that many of you are used to programming Arduino projects on PCs, but uh, Raspberry Pi 5 or Raspberry Pi 4 or 3 is also a PC and uh, of course it is uh, very interesting to do it on uh, Raspberry Pi alone. Uh, Raspberry Pi has some advantages over a classic PC because it has an expansion port and this port of course enables you to connect your project directly. Raspberry Pi offers two voltage options to power your projects 3.3 volts and 5 volts. It also has an inbuilt serial port that is available on GPIOs 14 and 15 that are located on pin 8 and 10 on the expansion port. You can also use two additional expansion port pins to control your Arduino port reset or enable pin and switch between normal and programming mode. But you can also use the inbuilt micro switches to do this instead. As you can see, it's relatively easy to connect your Arduino board to a Raspberry Pi. I've used AThinkers ASP 32 cam module for this presentation, but you may connect any other module just as easily using jumper wires or a simple adapter PCB board of your design. Even if your Arduino board only has micro switches to control reset and programming mode options, like the original ESP32 CAM module, you can usually make simple modifications to the board to connect these signals to your Raspberry Pi 2. This greatly simplifies and speeds up the board's programming and testing. I've prepared three scripts for Raspberry Pi OS to activate normal mode or programming mode, as well as holding your board in reset. They rely on GPIO 17 and 18 and pin CTRL function that is available in Raspberry Pi Bookworm OS on Raspberry Pi 5. Connect, reset or enable to GPIO 17 and programming mode to GPIO 18. You can download the scripts from pcusbprojects.com website. If you are using Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, you must modify the scripts to use RASP GPIO function instead. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up serial port to communicate with your Arduino board. First open command window. Then type sudo RSP config select interface options select serial port do not enable login shell to be accessible over serial and then select serial port hardware to be enabled and then OK and finish reboot your computer Okay, now when we are back to the operating system, um, we are going to first verify whether the serial board has been enabled. Type um, pin CTRL and write get 14 and 15. And we can see that both are enabled. So the serial port is enabled and ready. So next what we are going to do is um, to install Arduino development environment. Type sudo apt get install Arduino. This computer already has uh, Arduino installed. Let's program an Arduino board from Arduino Integrated Development Environment on Raspberry Pi. You can start Arduino from Start Menu Programming Map or from a command window. You can verify the basic Arduino ID installation by clicking on a round green button in the upper left corner of the Arduino window. Though you can add additional Arduino boards from Tools Menu, Boards, Boards Manager, some Arduino boards may only be installed if a correct JSON file path is added to File Menu, Preferences, 
additional board's manager URLs. If there are more than one path, they must be separated with commas. I've added a JSON file to enable the SP32 module based on Arduino boards. Next, go to Tools menu, Boards, and start Boards Manager. Type the SP32 into the filter text box and click Enter on your keyboard. Now, install this board support. Installation is automated, but it is also a good idea to try compiling an Arduino example before continuing. We fee scan example is a good choice because it works with any SP32 board. Connect your Arduino board. Next, set our Arduino board in programming mode with program.sh script. If the board only has micro switches, use them to set programming mode. Downloading firmware to your Arduino board from Arduino ID on Raspberry Pi is the same as on any PC. Adding new libraries from internet is just as easy. Thank you for watching. Press like and subscribe buttons if you've liked the video. The next video is coming soon.